Welcome guys, today in this video I'm going to show you how to install OS X 10.11.3 using VMware to make the installation. If you don't know how to make a VMware image of OS X, I'll link the video on the screen right now. Click that, follow the video first to make this operating system, and then come back to this video once it's all done. Once you're done with that, now on the search machine, you want to attach your USB drive to the VMware. Put that in. Put the VM, removable devices, and make sure the CB USB drive is the name of mine. Connect it. Mine is already connected automatically. Make it easier to get the screen. Move the install OS X L Capitan app into your application folder. I've already got a copy of that in there, so I won't be installing this now. Next, you want to open up Unibix. Now, I will include all of the files that are used in the Tender 11 but three folder that will be in the description. Click continue. 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 Agree. Click the USB drive. Continue. Click our capital. Then in my case I'm using UE5. That's my that's what my computer runs on. If yours doesn't you'll have to click legacy boot mode. Continue. Leave this blank. Next. Okay. Now, once that's all complete, make sure that everything selects properly. Click continue. Now you enter in your password and then the installation comes again. I have already made the USB, so I'm not going to show. It. I'm not going to install it now. So I'm going to cancel it. Once UniB says complete, you want to open up Kex Wizard. I'll link it, I'll include everything in the 10.11.3 file in the description. Here we go, installation. You want to put the Intel Broadway Graphics Frame Buffer, Kex, the modifier, into there. Click the USB drive, click install. Once that's done, you want to also put this to repair the permissions on the drive. I've already prepared that, so I'm not going to do it again. After that, you want to open up EFI. Partition, what should automatically mount through Unibeef. Then you want to copy the, uh, this EFI partition that I've modified into this folder. Delete the existing EFI folder to, and then copy the folder that I created. Once that's complete, just restart your computer and then follow the rest of my instructions. Enter your BIOS selection menu. Select your USB drive. Now select your USB drive and club. Press enter.
go to utilities, disk utility, select the hard drive you want to install Mac on, click erase, format it as OS X extended journal and name it whatever you want. Click done and then closes. Now click continue, continue, agree, select the hard drive, click continue and now OS X will start installing. Once completed, restart and immediately go straight back into your USB drive. So select your USB drive, enter. Sometimes it may have come up with this error. Keep just keep restarting until it boots in. This part's mainly for people with Intel Portable Graphics. If you're not sure what type of graphics you have, just do this step, just in case. Open up Utilities, enter Terminal. Okay, I'm just gonna make this bigger. Type disk util list. They'll just give you all the, the names of your disks. <laughs> now type cp space dash r space volumes. Slash USB or the name of the, what you named the USB drive slash system library. Extensions. Space. Volumes. Oops. Volumes. Slash. And now this is the name of your hard drive what you just installed in Acon. In my case it's Macintosh HD. Oops. Now if you have a space in your name, add a slash, a backslash, to the end of the first letter, the first word, then press space and then type the rest of it. Just like that. And then system library extensions. Oops. Okay. 
Oh, I made a mistake. You have to go to the end of this extensions and add Intel. Not uh, Apple. Sorry. Apple. Intel. BDW Graphics Frame Buffer Dot Kext Now click enter. So I made a couple of mistakes typing errors basically when I was entering that in the first time I'll put the, the um, correct one on screen but all you need to do once you hit that hit enter it'll copy over the frame buffer and now restart and select your hard drive that you just installed come on Go back into the USB and then select the hard drive. Should automatically select like mine. <laughs> it will come up this area sometimes. Problem with Clover. Don't know what's wrong there. Just have to be patient with sometimes. Now I should boot straight into OS X. Come back when it's booted. It usually does take a little bit longer to load on the first boot. Once the first boot's done, the rest of the boot should load up pretty quickly. There you go. Put in. All the graphics are working perfectly fine. Straight away. Now you'll need to install all the drivers you need. I'm not going to cover that in this video, if you don't know how to do it, just ask me and I'll make another video to demonstrate how to do it. Uh, don't use it. So I'm going to quickly set this up to show you. Just select a random one. Uh, lightning. Setting up. <laughs> May seem slow, but that's just because it's the first boot.
Here you go. 10 dot 11 dot 3. It's entire HT 5500. 1.5 megs. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like, comment so I can help you out, and subscribe.